Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Don and today we are back with another video in the Oculus Quest 2. That's right. So today we're going to be taking a look at Operation Serpents. Now, this is an arcade wave shooter and you guys know how I feel about wave shooters. I'm not a big fan. I mean, there's just too many of them congesting the market. However, this one is kind of an homage and a spiritual successor to the old light gun games that I poured tons of quarters into in the arcades back in the late 90s. So I want to get in there and see if that kind of gameplay can translate well into virtual reality and actually be fun and worth your money. So let's get in there and take a look. All right, so here we are in my base of operations. So this is our starting point for the game. And, you know, the team's chilling. We've already read the big board back here, so I know how to control. There is a seated mode. Got some hints there. Um, the, the first thing I'm going to comment on right off the bat, though, is, is the lack of movement options in this game. I mean, or at least I can't find them. Um, you know, I can rotate, and it's snap rotation only but I can't move now obviously I can move I mean I can room scale it so I can you know move around uh, and that's gonna be very important when the game actually starts because you can duck and move for cover between the windows so obviously you'd need a pretty large room so I gotta say <sighs> developers come on man you know put just movement options let let the player move around so that they can kind of move and take cover even in a small play space where you can't do it with your own body so anyway all right um, blah blah enough rant aside um, what are we looking at here well we are looking at a, a spiritual successor to the old light gun arcade games man and I used to love those so I can't wait to to dive in. Let's go. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Captain Joe. Oh, hello, Captain Joe. Welcome to our team, Operation Serpents. This is one of our safe houses. Um, uh, okay. Um, Captain Joe, you okay there, buddy? Y you need to go? D do you need to, like, hit the head or uh, you got to pee or I don't get it. <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, you're coming over here. Oh, okay. We have a good lead on one of our high-value targets. He is a lieutenant in the Snakes organization. <laughs> What's up with this guy? Okay, I don't know if this is intentional or is this a... No, it's got to be intentional. It can't be a glitch. <laughs> He's like striking poses and like, I don't know, like throwing gang signs? Take a look outside. Do you see all the guards? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do see all the guards. Okay, so um, let's take a look outside. Hey, how's it going? Um, so, you know, all right, and I will give them props. They've got a little life going on in the street scene here. We've got some cars passing by. We've got, you know, the, these chicks are having a, you know, a hilarious conversation. She's doing her thing, you know. Uh, we got the baddies here. I guess so we definitely got that guy up there with a the snipe rifle. We got these guys guarding this door. Or, and you know, I, I don't know. Jury's still out on that guy. He might just be chilling on his balcony. I can't see what's in his hand, so I don't know. Load your sniper rifle and take them down. Oh, okay. we want to flush out Al Cobra. Get that'll, ready. That'll help me see what's in his hand. Oh no, you're a bad guy. You're gonna have to die. Ready? Oh, what? No. Oh. Reload. Nice! Took his head clean off. Headshot. Nice. So, I like how you can see the bullets coming at you. Um, you definitely have an element that you don't normally have. In the light gun kind of games is where I have to physically dodge. So Good job, but it's not over yet. 
Grab your twin pistols. Tell you what, though, that opens up another level of play for this is uh, fitness. So, like, if you had a large enough play space and you really got John Wick with it, you know, I, I could see where if I'm, like, if I'm actually, like, running for cover and doing what I'm supposed to do here, That's what I'm talking about. Now, I will say, though, with this barrage of bullets, I'm really not feeling like I've got to move very often. I mean, yeah, I haven't really even gotten hit. Let's see, there's like a whole slew of everything coming at me. Oh, so there we go, I finally got hit. So, maybe a little balancing on the difficulty. Because I really couldn't find anything in a menu anywhere. Eliminated. <laughs> nice. Oh, boo. I should have been able to, like, bounce it. Wow, that was intense. Wasn't it? I think you're going to need more firepower. Grab your new rifle. Um, uh, okay. Oh, sweet. In position. All right, bring it. Oh, I just gimped your legs. Whew, sorry. Head came, head came off. Y'all so funny. double-fisted. <laughs> nice. Sorry. Being a little quiet because I'm just like feeling the onslaught here. No, you, you get down. Start doing some like Neo stuff here. So it seems like you can reload by by kind of flicking down too, because I'm not having to hit the buttons and it seems like it's reloading. So very cool there, because that's a really kind of familiar way to reload in a game like this. Sweet! He's got the right idea. Woo! -hoo! All right, so that's yeah. I'm, you guys aren't gonna have to watch me dance like that. I don't know what's up with these NPCs, man. <laughs> Whoa, hey buddy, what what the heck are you guys doing, man? I mean, just back off, okay? No, that's no. It's just wrong. Go go away. Okay, y'all, man. All right, so like I said, we are here in the base, uh, and uh, I guess this is where we can test different weapons and where the game will actually start. So it looks like we've got uh, four main bad guys, five and six uh, we don't know yet, and seven is still coming soon, and then there looks to be a, a horde survival mode coming soon as well. 
So, so far, not going to lie, you know, the, these types of games are not my favorite. But this has been fun. So, uh, let's grab a little gun here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Do you see that dead down the middle? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. Yeah, all right. So, all right. Let's go. All right, Lady Python. We have information that Lady Python is hiding somewhere in this building. Okay. We need to scan cool. Floor by floor. Find and neutralize her. Don't forget. Okay, no, I won't. You're killing me. Alright. It's like a chick I knew in Austin, Texas. I used to work at like, the place that I work. Um, see ya. So groovy, man. Digging that music. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, sorry, I had to cap that guy. Uh, Y'all should run now. Oh, oh, took you out at the angles. Oh. So, like I, like I was saying earlier, I mean, if you had enough space, which I unfortunately don't when I'm recording on a green screen in my studio, you could actually move around in the elevator space here and really use the cover of those side panels here to your advantage, as you can kind of see here. Hopefully I'm not out of camera. So that definitely adds a new dimension to arcade shooters like this. I could totally see taking my kids to the uh, local, what we call incredible pizza, and paying like five bucks to you know play this in an arcade. Kind of reminds me of some of the old light guns. Time Crisis. Kind of old school stuff. Difficulty level obviously isn't that big though because I'm getting shot left and right. I'm not even trying to dodge these bullets very much anymore. I'm very rarely getting hit. Oh, except for right there. That's Captain Madone. Oh! right there. I'm not saying it can't happen. Oh. Oh, yes. Got me a shotgun. Ooh, what are you? Oh, cool. Alright, next floor. Oh, didn't realize I had a shield. Oh, cool. I like how you can kind of see through. Did you just get back up? Oh, no. Don't shoot civilians. You, sir, could you, like, move, sir? Thank you, sir. can't see a damn thing through this shield, but I'm just going to keep shooting. So, you know, like I said, it, it, it's, a, it's an arcade shooter. It's a wave shooter, but I don't know. This is kind of fun. I'm not hating on this. 
Now, is it perfect? No. I mean, it's very repetitive already. Um, you know. But if you were just looking for something to kill some time and build some skill, yeah. I could see this being an option. Oh, oh, sorry, girl. Oh, man. I know you probably had plans to go out, like, for drinks, for Benigans or something. And, man, now I just, like, all mess those up. It's not intentional. You blame these dudes. Oh, no, oh, well... <laughs> Now, why did you go and get up and do it again? See? Stay down. That's what I'm talking about. Made me kill that secretary. Done with this. Oh, hey, girl. Uh, how's it going? No, could you Could you move? No, oh. Oh, it's you. Nice! Took you out, girl! Oh! No. What? 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 What's wrong with my weapon? I can't shoot! Oh, okay. Right on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. All right, so there you have it. There is Operation Serpents. And, you know, I got to say, I in a way, I was pleasantly surprised. I, You know, I did not hate on this game. Uh, you know, as I said in the intro, I thought going into it, I had preconceived notions that it was a wave shooter. But it really did bring up some of those old nostalgic feelings of playing the old light gun games with, like, aiming down to reload and, you know, just going at it, but in VR. And the ability to actually use your environment. And, you know, I didn't have a lot of chance to do that in the video because of the way I film here on the green screen being limited. But obviously, I could have duct I could have covered so that would be cool in a room scale environment now is the game perfect no, absolutely not it's very repetitive uh, even the little funny things with the the animations they, they, that gets tiresome after a while the voice acting is just way subpar but it's got its charm it, it does scream cheesy 90s shoot 'em up game so if you have a quest if you have a quest 2 you can get this from side quest uh, if you have a rift s you can get it on the rift store if you have any of the other steam vr headsets you can get it from steam i am going to put links for all of that down in the description but for me that's going to do it today guys Thank you so much for taking a look at this video. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate that. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. If you want to see more, head over to my main page, take a look through my catalog. I've got stuff going back to the pre-retail days of VR. And if you like what you saw there, you know what to do. Smash subscribe, ring the bell, so you get notified the next time I do something cool in virtual reality. But for me, I'm out. This is Don, signing off.